peace and blessings my fellow virgos i hope you guys are doing well today i'm getting ready to bring you your energy update let me do my disclaimer and then um set my intentions okay so we're all on different timelines i could be speaking to past present future energies for any one of you make sure you use the spirit of discernment you take what you need you leave what you don't need okay do not force anything to fit we don't got time for none of that low vibrational ish all right now we say everything out of love we definitely love you we definitely thank you for your support and <laughs> that's about it this is a high vibing channel we about manifesting okay so let me set my intentions and then we're gonna get started thank you holy spirit thank you my angelic guides for helping me with this collective virgo reading thank you for speaking through me loud and clearly thank you for using me as the messenger thank you for protecting us from any karmic low vibrational energies thank you for closing the door to anything that's not in alignment with the divine's will and Usa, thank you for helping us to stay calm, cool, and collected as we go through these moments of being tested, okay? Because yesterday's reading was what? Our commitments are being tested, okay? So let's see what's happening today. I hope you guys have overcame whatever adversity or storm that you may be going through, okay? So... Don't forget, like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to check out my channel because I do offer some Virgo membership packages. It's my Virgo squads, all right? And what else do I got for y'all? Oh, yeah, I do personal reading, so definitely look in the detail box below. This video is my website. And on top of that, if you have purchased a reading, please respond to your emails. Please answer the question that I sent in the email, okay? So I can get started your reading, all right? So, okay, so here we go. Here we go. Show me what Virgo's energy is. What's happening with Virgo? What's happening with Virgo today? Thank you. What's happening with Virgo? What's Virgo's energy? Show me what I need to see. What's happening with Virgo? Okay. First chakra card. Show me what I need to see. Oh, okay. So, first chakra card comes out upright position. Your root chakra is balanced, baby. Okay, so um, you may you may be feeling a little secure today. All right, something here definitely has you feeling grounded. All right, women holding a coin. This could be you or this could be someone in your life. This came out yesterday, I think, in one of my readings. I'll be doing so many. But however, this could be somebody of value. Um, you may even start to see, you may be seeing your value, your worth, all right? But overall, this person reminds me of that Queen of Pentacles energy, okay? Someone who's very sufficient, self-sufficient, confident. Now, with the Cornucopia card coming out, this is about your wish fulfillment. Okay? This is abundant. Whatever's happening here, you're starting to feel grounded because you feel like you are definitely close to what? Your cornucopia. Hmm. I'm going to pull tarot. Of course, we're going to see what that's about. This person may be bringing something in for you of value. Okay? That's going to help you fulfill your wish. It's also what just came to me. All right, so... Let's dive right on in. All right, tell me about this first chakra. Tell me what I need to see with the first chakra. Tell me what I need to see with the first chakra. Thank you. Tell me what I need to see with the first chakra. All right, so what I got here, this five of swords. So, there was some type of conflict or disagreement for the most part, okay? Um, you may have felt like you walked away with a sense of bad blood. That's been coming out like in all the readings for you, Virgo. All right, whatever this um, conflict was here, that's what was making you feel, you weren't feeling secure. Let's just put it that way. Queen of Cups, it had you thinking, all right? You may have been a little overly emotional about the situation here. Um, but overall, it's like, I feel like you, you're you starting to understand, like, okay, this is going to require some type of balance, right? I'm going to have to literally balance my energies, right? I'm going to have to think here 
using my logic and also um my intuition all right so that's adding that emotion in there with your logical side right and really kind of like just trusting your intuition with this situation overall so this conflict may even if you didn't have a conflict with someone um or disagreement with someone it could have been literally some internal conflict is also what's coming to me okay um but overall, again, it's like, I feel like you're going into this energy like, okay, I, in order for me to bring some type of balance and harmony into my life here, I got to trust my intuition. I have to be logical about this and not so emotional about this because that energy is what very undependable, right? You don't know what you're going to get from that. This is why the progress is taking place right now. Okay. Some kind, some type of communication may also um, be coming in for you with the eight of wands. Whatever that is, is movement and it's quick. You got the freedom to move forward right now. Somebody has this freedom to move forward in your story. I don't know if this is you or if this is someone you're connected to. Someone you've been holding on to. Four of Pentacles and the Lovers. Okay, so that holding on energy is like, woo, we hold it on tightly to that lover. Wow. Holding on tightly to this person. Okay, so of course y'all know what the lovers is. The lovers could be um, your twin flame. It could be somebody you're married to. It could be somebody you have a strong bond with. It could be your soulmate. Whatever that may be, right? It's a lot of compassion between you two, okay? And show me what I need to see here. At first, it felt like the feeling wasn't mutual, all right, between you two. But whatever's happening now, it's alignment is what I'm picking up. It's, it's harmony. Like, y'all were able to balance this situation out, or you will be if you haven't gotten to that point yet. All right, so with the seven of pentacles and the reverse, some, you or this person literally may have been extremely worried that this, this situation would have ended in failure, okay? That's why I was like, yeah, in the, in the past or even now, if you're in this timeline of feeling insecure about how this is going to play out or how you're going to get to your cornucopia, whatever that insecurity may be, it's like now you're understanding how to balance this out and how to bring harmony into your life in order for you to get to your cornucopia, your blessings, okay? You planted the seeds, they ready to, they ready to harvest, they are already harvesting is what I'm hearing, it's just that it may not be at the pace that you want it to be, right? But tell me about this woman holding a coin. Tell me about this woman holding a coin. Especially when it comes to your money. Yup, this woman holding a coin, if this you, Virgo, you were uncertain on how to manifest this. But it seems like the magician coming out, okay? It seems like you're realizing, look, I got everything I need right there at the tip of my fingers to do this okay with the moon card coming out it was creating a lot of anxiety or something or, or an illusion um where you just couldn't see you can't see show me what i need to see it's like this journey here is like whoo it's kind of dark like where am i going at? am i going in the right direction it seemed like i'm going towards the dark <laughs> you know and then not the light what's happening okay now with the star card you've endured a lot on this journey a whole lot but definitely you gotta stay optimistic you may be i feel like with this queen of um this woman holding a coin energy coming in like this you may have shifted all of that energy of being uncertain, um, focusing on, you know, what you're seeing with your natural eye. You know, I feel like you're realizing like, shit, I got to stay positive about this. Okay. I got to stay connected to source with this. Being hopeless is not going to help me manifest my cornucopia. Being hopeless is not going to help me to... Um, feel safe or feel stable within my situation show me what i need to see some of you may have an animal spirit guide that's with you helping you guiding you a very familiar spirit yeah you're staying hope you are staying in a state of um hope okay the stars are literally aligned 
for you. They're guiding your path here. All right. So Ace of Cups came out in a reverse. So you may have been honing in on or you may be focusing on um, there's a possibility it could be some type of negative changes. OK, or that you may not be fruitful with your situation, whatever this may be, if it's love or if it's about your money. Right. So um, you got multiple streams. Some of you got multiple streams of income and your cup is going to overflow. You got so many avenues and so many ways to bring in what you need. The universe is literally handing you a cup and you got to stay optimistic. All right. You got to have hope. The stars are aligned for you right now. And that's what I keep saying. We're in that what? 11. What is it? 11 one um, portal. I think I erased the thing from my phone. But remember, we are manifestation season. This is winning season, baby. OK, look at that. That ace of cups. You see how it, you got the stream of income. It's like seven of those different streams coming out. And in each of it is like fertility, joy, love, faithfulness, money, wealth, health. Don't focus on your issues. But I feel like you like, mm, I got it, baby. I see my worth. I'm the woman holding a coin. I'm the one that I'm the one that's valuable here. Tell me about the cornucopia. Tell me about the cornucopia. And even if you are a man tuning in, you could be operating in that queen of pentacles or woman holding a coin energy. All right, so y'all know how this got. Show me what I need to see about cornucopia. Yeah, the world. Your life is getting ready to change. It's getting ready. Things are coming full circle for you and whatever you're trying to accomplish here, you're gonna accomplish it. This is all this is all of your goals. All right, so whether that includes marriage, children, um, a business, graduating from school, just getting in a relationship, whatever that buying a house, whatever it is, things are getting ready to come full circle for you. Your wishes are coming true. You are so close, Virgo. <laughs> okay. Show me what I need to see. Tell me what I need to see for my Virgo. Give us some guidance. Perfect timing. That's the card. It didn't come out, but I grabbed it. If it comes out again. This is the perfect timing. Yep, the change in direction. That came out in my earlier reading today. So, the changes you are experiencing are divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and our guidance. You are protected now and in the future. So follow your path to this happy outcome that you desire. That's what's happening. You got a change in direction right now. Things is, 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 is turning around for you. Okay. Um, just be open. Continue to stay open with this. Because, look, you can't go wrong with the divine. All right, now, <laughs> you you will not be going in the wrong direction if you stand connected here to Source God. Thank you. Show me what I need to see about the change in direction. Yeah, it's leading you to your wish fulfillment, your satisfaction, your contentment, you overcoming difficulties, your emotional stability, your happiness, whatever is in your nine cups. That's what it's leading you to. Your self-sufficiency, nine of pentacles, your confidence, you being able to enjoy your life, enjoying the fruits of your labor. You're creating a stable foundation for yourself right now where you're going to be able to sit back and relax, Virgo, and enjoy yourself and even splurge a little. Okay? Things are balancing out for you. There's harmony coming here in your life. This change of direction, follow this path. Because it's leading you to your cornucopia. Let me see why this knight king of swords over here. All right. So tell me about this king of swords energy. So this king of swords um, could be your lover. Hmm. I got the hangman coming out here in the reverse. So there's still some type of um, waiting. Okay. 
yeah that's what i see with that some type of waiting with that situation here they are not really taking any type of action is what i'm saying when it comes to that all right so they, they could be being resistant that could be it but i feel like they're stuck or they're getting blocked because of other people or circumstances it's not them seven of pentacles coming out in an upright position it's like they keep showing their commitment towards their work their dreams whatever it may be so that they can see some type of success in their life with you that's what they've been trying to do but the thing is it's like they are managing to get blocked or stuck because of external circumstances that has been coming out in your reading um, that came out yesterday too, I think, if that was yesterday's reading, the Divine Feminist reading, my daily energy update. It's like heavy energy, okay, of some type of karmic person that's creating um, some type of uh, delays or something here for masculine energy. All right, so the lovers comes out. So they're trying to really make some type of choice here, a healthy choice on top of that. All right. When it comes to this connection that you have with this person, because it's really meaningful, it means a lot to them. They worry a lot about this. OK, it, are they going to be successful? If I show commitment to this or to my Virgo, will I be successful at this? If this is about a business partnership or a job or a boss or something, it's still like the same thing. It's like if I show commitment and you know, bring this person on a part of my life in my business, in my in my um corporation or whatever it may be, will it be successful? Okay. Now with this four pentacles energy coming through again, it feels like you know how you you can stockpile on stuff, right? You hold on too tightly to things. Whether whether it's you know you keep saving up let me think let me tell you all right growing up it used to be my home girl her mother used to stockpile shit like the um, medicine cabinets be filled the linen cabinets be filled it's like tons of toilet paper tons of paper towel tons of canned goods like it's like you could not run she would not run out of anything and she probably still got shit from back then okay <laughs> that's how much stuff that she would have she would stockpile this stuff here but it's uh, that's because of a lack mindset right so when you hold on to your stuff too tightly you put too much emphasis on it and that right there is it Instead of just really focusing on what's most important, and it feels like this is what this masculine does. It's like they stockpile everything. They hold on too tightly. Hold on too tightly to their money. Hold on too tightly to our mindset. Hold on too tightly to, you know what I'm saying, whatever they're focusing on. And that's what it is. And they lost sight of the fact that, wait, what's most important is this person in my life. What's most important is love. What's most important is my happiness. What's most important is my wish fulfillment. So I definitely feel like they're reevaluating that. What's most important to me? And even coming to the realization that those things that they are holding on too tightly to is not in. Okay, so that message may be, you know, for very few, but... I really feel I really feel like this masculine coming in is just in this energy now of being, I guess, the thinking man or woman, right? Just thinking, trying to gain some understanding, trying to trying to um reevaluate the situation overall. Okay. Um but that change in direction here is leading you to this new feature this new beginning you know and you guys are totally protected mm. tell me more about this change of direction yeah and that's what again is leading to the world this change of direction is leading you to your cornucopia. And you were sitting there just in this energy waiting for something to happen. Like, 
I don't see it. I don't see it. Looking for clues that is getting ready to happen. Show me what I need to see here for Virgo in this situation. Hold your vision, Virgo. Shoot, of course, every everything is going to have an obstacle course. <laughs> That's just how life works. How bad do you really want it? But that's just how life works. It's always going to be some type of mountain you got to climb over. But you can do it because you got enough lessons under your belt. You know what to do. All you got to do is what? Throw your hiking boots on. Make sure you got a bottle of water. Put an orange in your bag. A granola bar for some protein. And take the hike. Okay? You got it. Fix Moon. Fix Moon says. Whoop. There are two main possibilities with this card. The first is that you need to stand firm in whatever situation you're in. The second very different interpretation is that something is stuck. That could well be referring to the situation you're asking about. If that's the case, have a think about what you can do to grease the wheel so that events move forward. Are you being stubborn? If so, that's great because if you really want things to change, there's a solution. Stop digging your heels in and be the one to break the deadlock. With two interpretations for this card, it's up to you to decide what's going on and which meaning applies to you. This offers up a chance for some self-reflection. Yes. Okay. Just say the word a lot and see how it feels. That's the answer. The answer is yes. Hold your vision. Don't let go of that. You are manifesting your corner copia. Okay. This is about your staying power, your faith, your patience. All of that is needed on this journey, okay? This is about your staying power. Someone in your story may need to back down because uh, I don't know who that's for. That might not be for you, Virgo. You know, that might be for your person. <laughs> but we ain't going to take that charge, okay? Avoid stagnation, Okay. And it basically says, again, this could be enduring. That's what I was telling you. It's like, oh, it's mountains. All right, it's mountains. It's like, it's, it's enduring. But you can do it. You got what it takes is what I'm hearing. How much staying power do you have? Hmm? How strong is your faith? What did it say yesterday? Your commitment's being tested, right? Can you do it? Do you got what it takes? The universe say, hey, you asked for this. It's here now. Like, do you really want this? When it's released to you, will you be able to maintain this? Or will you go back and slip into an old mindset? You know? And then we'll be back at square one, right? Starting all over again. Nobody want that. Don't nobody got time for that. Show me what I need to see. I'm in this situation. Let me do that again. That was like 50,000 cards. It was like four, but still. I ain't like how they were stuck together. Show me what I need to see. You have invested wisely. Have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. There's a change in direction, which is taking you on this path to the happy outcomes you desire. I like it. It feels good. I know. I'm telling you. Because I've been carrying the weight of everybody shit on my shoulders. That's why my shoulders is tense. Okay. <laughs> like that's why my trap pesium is over here. Like turn, turn. Yeah. I'm carrying the weight of some stuff. And I'm releasing it. Okay. The weight of my stuff. The weight of y'all stuff. The weight of my son's stuff. <laughs> you know. The weight of my student stuff. My co-worker stuff. My neighbors. <laughs> We don't have to carry that weight, all right? Some things we just don't have to carry. We have to release it. I know we try to, you know, take on everybody's things because we're naturally our healers. But you can have a good life, too, you know? You can allow the divine and your angelic team to carry the weight for you. You don't got to do it. Only thing that we are called to do is serve. That's it. Show me what I need to see.
You feel stabbed in your back, okay? That's where the heartbreak comes from. That's where the pain comes from. So face that. Yeah, because that's outdated thinking. So stabbed in the back, cassette. And then not today. That's why you don't be feel like being bothered. You may replay events in your head over and over again. That's a conditioning. Okay. If you're still hang angry, release it. Because, again, once you change your direction, it's leading you to your cornucopia. It's leading you to a path here that involves your own personal healing and happiness. See anything else? Yeah, I know that joint snuck up. It snuck up on you then. And you was like, I wasn't even expecting it. I was, hell no, not this person. Somebody likes you. Someone likes you. Romance is blooming, okay? They actually want to date you, honey. They like, you know what? Let's date. Alright, so continue to face the mirror. I ain't gonna keep dragging these cards out. But face the mirror. Alright, I got the golden mirror and I got paradise. Because this is about your oneness. So for the most part here, right? Sorry, my neighbor dropping shit and it's kind of distracting me. But um, this is about your happiness. This is about your expansion. This is about your joy. Okay. Um, you don't, I know, you like, look, I ain't trying to be love bombed. I ain't trying to be in one side of relationships. You know, you you ignore the people that like you because you like, look, I done been through some shit. I don't feel safe, right? Overall, this is still goes back to you. Remember, it's like, even though people be in that little low vibrant energy, it's still about self at the end of the day. It's still about your oneness, all right? It's about your joy. It's about your happiness. It's about your expansion, right? It's about your own self-worth. It's about you seeing your value. Fuck them, who cares if they don't see your worth? You live your life at the end of the day. You hold on to the vision that you have for yourself. Okay? All right, Virgo. I'm going to end it. I wanted to kind of bring y'all a couple of readings today, but the day has slipped away from me again as usual. Okay? <laughs> so, I will see y'all tomorrow. Probably tomorrow afternoon or evening. I got a doctor's appointment. Then I got a head client. And then when I come home, I'm going to start jumping right on in and start recording again. Of course, after I work out. But um, until we meet again, y'all, make sure you are definitely operating in a state of joy. Um, if you can't find that place of joy for yourself, just really think about the things that make you happy. What brings you joy? Do the things that make you happy, okay? And that will help to raise your vibration. Even just ask, you know, I need some help. I'm feeling low, all right? And um, sometimes it does. It, it is hard. Even if you keep constantly doing those things, you still feel kind of like, blah, but still keep doing it. Because every time we make a decision to try to work on feeling better, being better, um, thinking better, the universe is working with us, okay? So even if you still feel like crap, just getting out there, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and take a walk. I'm gonna go ahead and do some yoga. I'm gonna meditate. I'm gonna go ahead and get my water. I'm gonna serve. I'm gonna do all of these things here that's gonna empower me. The universe is like, okay, they're trying, all right? Okay, y'all get what I'm saying? All right, so I love y'all. Peace. <laughs>